to meet the artist. Today we're at the San Diego Zoo and we're meeting up with artist Michael Summers, who's going to show us how he conceptualizes his work and we're going to actually go chase it down some wild animals. So join me. Well, first of all, we're excited to be here with artist Michael Summers. And Michael, um, you're going to take us on a little zoo adventure today. Yeah, I, uh, I'm here today. I brought camera, brought a couple sketchbooks. I'm going to be getting a bunch of studies and reference for, for some paintings coming up. My general plan is to just show up and uh, I, I have kind of a loose idea because you never know what the animals are going to do. So then we sort of go through looking for, taking some, some photos and some sketches and... Uh, and and see what inspiration strikes all right well we're excited so let's just uh let's follow this master and let's see what happens Tell us a little bit about, I know you come to the zoo a lot and you're checking out these animals. Um, tell us a little bit about, you know, what are you, what are you looking for when you're capturing these um, creatures? I'm tr trying to capture the personalities. Like every, uh, every species has certain traits that, that they lean towards and uh, in certain ways almost reflect or uh, mimic human, uh, human actions, interactions and emotions. And, uh, and then every individual animal has its own personality in addition. Uh, so I'm trying to just capture as much as I can the, the relationship, the interaction here between the two, the mother and the cub. Just came from the giant panda exhibit at the San Diego Zoo. Uh, Incredibly exciting. This was a remarkable experience. They, uh, this is one of the few places in the world where you can see panda cubs. It's one of the few places that has a successful breeding program. The cub was awake, the mother was in there, and they were awake. They were playing and interacting. I got to take a ton of photos, get down some really good sketches, and I'm super excited to get these sketches and photos back to my studio and get started on a series of panda paintings. back with Michael Summers and he is showing us his amazing new painting. You want to talk a little bit about it Michael? So this is the uh, painting in progress that uh, was the result of all the the photographs and sketches that I took when we were at the San Diego Zoo. As you can see I've gone with a kind of a family band motif where I have uh, the the matriarch here playing a bamboo flute and then there'll, there'll be a cub here playing the drums Cute. and then uh, there's a traditional uh, Chinese stringed instrument. Okay, so can you tell us a little bit about how how you um, got here? So did you start out, I'm noticing a little bit of a, a pencil drawing underneath, so when you got back from the zoo, how did you actually render this? Well, I actually, I've done a series of studies first. I started painting, you know, about 8 by 10, 6 by 8, and I, I did about four different studies, some of them really loose, just kind of things that... Uh, in my sketchbook, no one else will ever see, and some of them fairly, fairly developed paintings until I figured out how I wanted the composition to be. I just went in and painted the background first with all of these, uh, all of the bamboo kind of loose. I'll still go back in and tighten this up a bit, and then started painting the figures, uh, uh, bringing them up to this level. Of, they're about about ninety percent done right now. There's still like one more layer that'll go on to these two adult figures, and then obviously he's just. Very much. Very a nice. Sketch. I love it. And I haven't run out of ideas yet. Uh, you can see, uh, "Right as Rain" was actually the first piece that I did in the series, and you can see how heavy the paint is. But this was all painted by hand, and it's all very flat. There's very little actual texture to it. Right now, with this piece, what I'm I'm trying to do is play with how much distance and depth I can get into that. So I have these bamboo trees fading into the background with the drips coming and then there'll be another layer of really heavy drips at the very front and 
as long as I can keep coming up with new ideas and as long as this keeps inspiring me, I'll, I'll keep painting them. So we'll, um, we'll be able to see this artwork progress. Probably the next time we see it is um, maybe when you bring it down to the gallery. Hopefully at the unveiling, and I, I think I probably have about another week uh, before I have this 100% uh, finished and, and ready to show to the public. Cool. Well, we're so excited. Thank you so much for having us in your studio, and we're really excited to see how this painting turns out. So, again, this is Meet the Artist with artist Michael Summers, and um, stay tuned. You're going to see this painting evolve into a true masterpiece. <laughs>